Nothing keeps you warmer on those deep dark nights than a good old-fashioned meatloaf. And there's one secret weapon you can use to get it right every single time. Although meatloaf might not be regarded as the fanciest meal, it is a flavorful, filling dish that is perfect for a weeknight dinner or potluck party. Plus, it's incredibly comforting during those cold winter months. Although plenty of meatloaf recipes exist, it's possible that you haven't heard of one secret ingredient you should be adding to the mixture. If you want to add a savory, salty flavor to your meatloaf, don't hesitate to grab a packet of concentrated onion soup. A packet of the powdered mix is a total game-changer when it comes to flavoring your meatloaf. Many meatloaf recipes list diced white onions as an ingredient, of course. And using concentrated onion soup mix is a surprisingly flavorful way to incorporate both the spicy bite of an onion and the savory flavorings like paprika, black pepper, and bouillon. Whatever's in the mix, basically. Onion God, thank you for these onions. Meatloaf is an easy dish that requires few ingredients to make. In addition to ground meat, meatloaf recipes typically call for a binder such as eggs, breadcrumbs, sometimes a liquid like milk or water, and various seasonings for flavor. You can avoid the fuss of gathering, measuring, and adding various seasonings by adding a simple packet of onion soup mix to the ground meat mixture. It's easy. Fold the soup mix into the meat, then add the other ingredients, form the meatloaf, and bake it as usual. If you're one of the legions of meatloaf fans who think it is not true meatloaf without a ketchup glaze, layer this on top of the loaf when it still has 20 minutes to 30 minutes left to bake. One thing to remember if you add onion soup mix to your meatloaf is to be careful to not oversalt the dish. Concentrated onion soup mix tends to have a lot of sodium, with one packet totaling more than 2,000 milligrams. Adding more salt to the ground meat mixture can make your meatloaf much too salty. Also, since seasoned breadcrumbs are often heavily salted, consider using plain breadcrumbs instead. In addition to the seasoning, the meat you use makes a big difference to the quality of the final dish. Using a mix of ground meats such as beef, pork, and lamb or veal is recommended to have enough fat and texture to keep meatloaf from either drying out or becoming mushy or greasy. Many grocery stores sell a ground meat mixture containing all three in one package, so the extra work is already done for you. If you stick with only using ground beef, go for beef that's 80% to 85% lean. The extra fat in this beef will add flavor and keep the meatloaf from drying out. Even if you add the onion soup mix, don't be hesitant to add some chopped sweet or yellow onions to the mixture as well. The onions will soften as the meatloaf cooks and provide another layer of texture to the dish. A handful of crumbled bacon added to the meatloaf mix also delivers some of the salty, meaty umami flavor for which bacon is so beloved. Once you've baked this meaty masterpiece, let it cool before cutting into it. You want those ground beef juices to have a chance to redistribute throughout the loaf, and you don't want the meatloaf to fall apart if you cut it while it's still piping hot. Remove the meatloaf from the oven and let it sit for about 10 minutes. From there, slice it into 2-inch thick pieces to serve. If your guests are too full for a second slice and you find yourself with leftover meatloaf, you can easily pop it in the refrigerator. Cooked ground meats last about three to four days in the fridge, so the U.S. Department of Agriculture recommends consuming it within that time frame. You can freeze cooked meatloaf too, and it will stay fresh up to four months. Pro tip, for easy access, slice the remaining meatloaf and wrap the pieces individually. This way, you can just pop the individual pieces into the oven whenever you're craving this cozy meal.